All right, in this video, we're going to go ahead and continue trying to get our game object, game over object to work. So a recap of the last video is if we remember, our turret is auto aiming and we're trying to get our tanks that whenever they appear here or get to this position, they disappear or the game over object appears. But currently it's not quite working. We say that it randomly appears after a certain amount of time. So how can we fix that? Well, mm, what exactly is this exposition? I'm not sure, you know. The enemy is not just one point. We have a lot of points on this enemy. So what exactly is it checking? Honestly, I'm not sure. And when I move the enemy to 100-100, is it moving the origin point of my enemy? Or is it moving the center of my enemy? Or is it moving this? The turret cannon part? I'm not too sure, but what I could do is I could check. I could try moving my enemy to zero, zero, and I could see on my preview screen what part of my tank shows up. Let's go ahead and try doing that. I'm going to move him, my enemy, to zero, zero. Follow along. Go ahead and press pre preview. What part of the tank shows up at zero, zero? Alright, hopefully you've checked. <coughs> Let's go ahead and look. So we see that it uh, looks like the top left of our tank is that zero zero? Not quite there. All right, so it's imperfect. And again, I'm not too sure what exposition this is checking our enemy. Maybe I could put dot x. Maybe that would work. If the origin of my enemy is at one hundred, one hundred. Again, I honestly don't know. I'm just trying things out. That's part of being a game maker. So I'm not sure if my origin is ever at zero, zero. Because if I remember, and if I look at my object, at points, well, <coughs> the origin is this part, but my tank is kind of rotated with this part at the top left. Um, what if I put center? Um, again, but the center would have to be exactly at zero, zero. I'm not too sure that checking if a point is equal to something is the best way to go about doing a game over. So what if, instead of doing that, I try to look at some other ways of how they do it. So let's go ahead and look up um, this example again. I'm going to try to use this example to figure out what exactly to do. So in this example, I'm placing a flag. All right, let's go ahead and preview that again, if you forgot. <coughs> so the way it works is I have a cursor and I click. It puts a flag object down and then my tank goes to flag object could I um, have some type of flag object in my game maybe down here and if the tank collides with that object then I would say game over so let's try ahead and do that I'm just gonna go ahead and Make a new sprite object. Let's go ahead. I don't care what you use. Um, let's use. I'm going to use this uh, enemy. No, let's do a coin. All right. So I'm going to use this coin. I'm going to do a uh, game over flag. That's what I'm going to call it. And I'm going to put this game over flag. Uh, down here. 
Oh, let's do zero zero, like around here. So what I want to do is if the enemy collides with this game over flag. Okay. So I don't care about the enemy position. I'm going to try to see if a collision happens. So if the enemy collides with my game over flag. So if it does, then I'm going to show object game over. Let's go ahead and try that out. Hopefully it works. Awesome, it worked. So now, not only do we want to do game over, but we also want to stop the game, like last time. Do you remember how to do it? Go ahead and pause this video right now and try to implement it on your own using what you've learned before. All right, let's go ahead and try it out. So to do that, we need to add an action after we show game over, we want to stop the time. So we want to change the time scale and we want to change the time scale to zero. Okay, let's go ahead and try it. Save, try. Game over, awesome. So we managed to make it go to here and we got a game over to appear. In the next video, we'll refine this a little bit more. We don't want the game over to be here. We want to be, uh, we want this anything to be down here, right? And we're going to make our game a little bit better and so forth. All right, see you in the next video.